It's Sunday, July 10th. I'm heading out to this new piece of property I've got permission on. It's a little tiny, well, it's not. It's a big property, but it's all ag. I did a little bit of shed hunting on it. Did find one good shed, a nice five point side. All that's on this property that I'm gonna be hunting this upcoming season is a little draw. There's one little tiny draw, almost basically just a, a tree line that runs north and south. And there's another tiny little finger that basically has a big ditch running down through the middle of it coming off this ag field. But there's a lot of good topography with this place. Even the ag fields are not flat. It creates good access to get in and out without spooking stuff. So we'll see. Not a lot of options, but I am excited about it. It should be fun trying to pick this place apart and get a few sits on it at least and hopefully run it into a nice mature buck. Gonna buzz back here and get a couple of cameras set up for a little bit of summer inventory, see what kind of deer are hanging around here, at least in the summertime. Who knows if they'll be there come fall, but just see what's around. Well, that took a little bit longer than expected for the first one. Got it set up right here on this little walnut. Reason I picked this tree and I actually hung the camera a little high, as you can probably see, was because this kind of dips down from the field up here. Like, like I said, the field, it's got some pretty good rolling hills to it, but hopefully I've got it up high enough to where I can see anything walking the edge of the field. But also, there's a couple of key spots when they cross this draw. Go through this draw and cross this ditch and go up the other side, and I think this is definitely one of them because you could really spot that big trail coming down through there. Plain as day as I was going by it. I'm going to make a mock scrape here. Obviously, they're not going to be pawing at this right now, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and clear some grass out and stuff so when I come back, after, you know, later on this summer, I'll really freshen this up and make it a big mock scrape. I've got a limb right here that I've already kind of yanked down and I'm gonna trim up a little bit and pull it down a little bit further just so there's one single limb kind of right in their face when they come down this trail. And right here is where I'm gonna make this mock scrape. The tree that I wanna hang in is actually a little bit further up the way here. Probably, I don't know, 40, 50 yards right up here. Maybe not even that far, but that's the best looking tree that I'll probably hang in in this little part of the property. This this whole line was all scraped up last year when I walked in the shed season. So I expect the same to be this year, same to be going on this year. I'm gonna keep cameras right in this area, right by where I wanna hang that stand and come back and get that stand hung here in a little while. But I like this spot, I don't know. It's a work in progress, we'll see what happens. Get the camera set and get out of here. So that's one down, gotta get the other one hung up. set up that's number two it's another small little walnut right here on this field edge big wide open uh, bean field there's a little bit of a fire break between this little piece of woods and the field there's actually a lot of nice clover and stuff out in here it's nice and shaded there's a real steep ditch that goes down in here it's a deep ravine nice and cool I expect there to be some deer bedding in here and just popping out here to feed but also there's a monstrous trail that comes below me and goes right past, right past this walnut tree. I haven't been over here yet during season or shed season, but I know this whole timber line is just gonna be totally scraped up uh, come season. And where I set the camera, there's already a big overhanging limb hanging way out here. I mean, further out than just about any other limb uh, on this line that I drove by so far so and took advantage of that and started to bend it over and kind of dangle it down a little bit and I'm already going to start making a little mock scrape there on the ground. The other thing is this is going to be super easy to check. Great access. I think I've got a stand picked out or at least a tree picked out for a stand on in this little uh, piece of woods also so this thing's probably taking like 30 pictures of me so I'm going to get out here but really excited about this spot. Sweet. Two more cameras out. Oh, what is today? It's July 23rd, Saturday. Probably like 10 o'clock. And it's already um, pretty close to 100 degrees. Getting ready to spread, uh, cast some seed on this soon to be food plot. The farmer came out and was nice enough to come out and uh, rip the ground up for us. So when we would normally plant this in August, about mid-August, we're gonna be gone. Jonathan and I are gonna be out 
uh, in Wyoming on an antelope hunt. It's a little bit early, like I said, but with the rain coming in the forecast, we wanted to go ahead and get the seed in the ground and uh, pray to the rain gods.